Hello everyone, and in this video we're going to start setting up the project, um, installing all the requirement files and libraries and all of that. Um, something to keep, to keep in mind is that um, make like take a look at the version that we're running and make sure that we're going to run in the same version. There could be some changes in the, one of the libraries that will make the, your code to crash. So make sure that you have like you type all of the things correctly and then you have like all the libraries so when you're trying to run your code it doesn't crash and you think that all oh, you know just make sure the the um the dependencies and all of that is good so you can if you just follow along that you will be able to like set it up correctly um just keep that in mind so the, the first thing that we need to do we need to of course we need to verify that we have no and npm install in our system. That's how you're doing Linux. If you don't have it, just type sudo apt install um, node and also npm. On Windows, you can just go to the website and download the install package and everything will be there. So after we do that, we can just, we just go to my Django directory. And here I'm going to start a new Python environment. So I'm just Python make then and I want to call it, I'm going to call this one Discord clone, even though it's not Discord, but you get a point. So um, let's go to our new directory. So here we need to um, activate our environment. So after we activate our environment, we need to, of course, install Django. So keep install Django. Okay, we have Django. Now let's install Django RAS framework. Okay, so we have Django and Press Framework installed. Let's open our February code editor. I'm gonna use, um, for this one, for this project, I'm gonna use uh, Visual Studio Code and Sublime. These are my favorites. You can use whatever you want. Um, so, Django, okay, so Django here. Okay. So of course, we need to um, start a new project. So Django admin start project. I'm going to call this one. Um, I'm going to call this one um, Discord clone. So after that, uh, let me see. Okay, let's go inside the project. So here, we're going to create two apps. So Django admin our app. The first one I'm gonna call a server. This will contain all the server information, like description, name, and all of that. And this one, I'm going to call it um, front end. Basically, here we're going to store like all the front end files and directories are like the React. You can call this one React if you want. React JS. But I mean it's just better to call it front end so you basically know that all your front end will be running in the app. Okay. So after we have that um we can just pop in here. okay so we have that um so basically we're going to create like some like folders um in this structure the first one let's create a new folder inside front end let's call it um source and inside source let's create a new folder call uh components here we, we're going to have like all the like um all the uh react.js components 
So now let's create a new folder. Let's call it here in front of you. Let's call it, um, let's create another one here. Oops, here. Call it front, front end. Okay. So inside, inside static, let's create a new folder called front end. And um, in, oh, we need another, another one. Oh, sorry. We need to delete this one. We need, we need a new folder called templates. And inside templates, we need to create one called um, front end. Okay. So we have that. Um, now we can go to let's let's go let's go to our front end app here. In here we're going to basically initialize um, npm here. So npm init hyphen y. So we have like a little setup here. Okay, so we we initialize it there. So now let's install npm webpack and webpack hyphen t okay hyphen hyphen save in the okay let's install that okay perfect Okay, after we install that, now let's go to our package JSON, JSON file here. So here we need to um, specify like the, the two scripts, one for production and the one for developing here. So here in test, let's rename that to dev. So here um, will be web. Mode development development entry source index dot js and then here I think I think I'll put um so I'll put basically here's going where we're going to like render like uh this file so output path oops, output path um static front okay um comma here and in here we're gonna have um okay so we for we can just copy this one This is not a good idea copying all of this because I always <laughs> I always have error, errors when I when I do that. But here basically it will be the same for for that webpack, but in, instead of um, development will be production production entries for uh -huh, etc. Same place. All of that okay so make sure that you type this correctly okay so let's save that um let's close that so now let's install uh bubble you know the company because uh we're going to we bubble we're going to this is going to help us like transpire our code so we need that so let's install bubble at bubble and then here core space bubble hyphen loader and then bubble reset hyphen m and then bubble reset hyphen yeah 
Okay. Um, I have seen like projects without this, but this is very recommendable. So your JavaScript code, like, um, so you don't have like problems to the point you're having all that. Um, so save hyphen dev. Okay. Let's install that. Yeah, so by, uh, this library helps you like to transpile your code. I don't know if you're if you are aware with Bubble. Um, so now let's finally install. Oops, sorry. npm install React, and we need React done. So save that. In there. Okay. Okay, so we have we installed all the requirement libraries. So now let's go to um, here in our front end. So in our front end, we're going to create a new file for bug for bubble. Um, let's call it dot um, bubble rc. This is kind of like a little configuration file here. So here very important presets and then here at bubble hat slash preset hyphen m and then comma at bubble slash preset hyphen react so we got those files ready. Um, let's save, save that. Um, now let's create another a configuration file in the same folder here in front end. Let's new file and then let's call it web, webpack dot config dot js. Okay. So here, module that it's pars equals. Then here, module. And then here, we're going to have rules. And this will be the rules. So test rules test. that and then dot js comma exclude not modules this is the, the this directory that the been created here not modules comma use and in here going to use the loader, the bubble loader. Okay. Just uh, going to go on here. So let's save that. Um, so yeah, we created the necessary configuration files. So now, um, so here in our front end, let's go to the views and let's create a new view. Okay, let's call this one index request. And this will return um, render request. What? Okay, return request. And then here, front end index.html. So basically, um, basically, in we're going to create like this uh, page here, this template. And in this template, where, where like all the React components will be like rendered. So let's just save that. Um, now let's create a new file inside front end. In file, let's call it URLs. Okay. So from Django, Django.URLs import. Okay, so uh, basically here we're going to create, of course, oops, sorry, um, from front end 
that views import index. And in here, URL, URL patterns. And in here, path empty here and we pass index, the name will be index. Perfect. So um let's go right here. So we have our um our new URL. So let's include this URL to the main like URLs file here. So let's go here. Oops. Um so here let's include or include and then I hear pat empty one include here front and that URLs. Okay. Um let's save that. So now that we include all the files, now let's here in the install apps. Well, let's start REST framework, Django REST framework. Also, let's initialize um, run n and server. Okay. Save that. Close. So we so we have like all these files now remember that we um basically we created the the index and, and all of that so what we're going to do we're going to go to the templates folder here so let's open the templates folder and then here in front end make sure you join in front end let's create a new file okay so here let's call it index.html here in, in, in front end. So outside of front end, let's go, we're going to create here a new file called base.html. So a file here in front end called index and outside of outside just base. So here in index, I'm going to have this template stands from base.html. Let's load the static file. Totally all general like for tags. So here we're going to get a blood content. And then end block. So inside this um, block content, we're going to have a div um, with an ID. This ID will be um, app. So basically, inside this ID, ID uh, div, sorry, with the ID app, all the um, CreateJS companies will be right inside here. So, so yeah. So we save that and now let's go to our base HTML file here. And then here we're just going to have um, okay. Oh. Okay, here. Okay, so here we're going to have a basically like HTML file. Or like the of course the, the base HTML file. So here we're going to have load static. Um so inside body, remember inside body, the bottom, we need to include this script. Script will be in the source. Remember to use the um, the Django temple tag static front and main 
Index.js. This will be the file generated by, by React. So here, and then I'll close that. Make sure that you close. Okay. So, so front end JS here. So inside body, I'm going to have, oops, block content and and block. Okay. Just like that. Let's put. Uh, Come in here, scripts. Okay, so here title is with uh, this core one. Okay, um, so yeah, so this core clone. So I'm gonna use um, boom. So I don't know if you guys are aware of these. CSS framework that doesn't have JavaScript. Um, you can use whatever you want. I'm gonna use this one, Bulma. So here, um, let's just copy this thing, this whole thing I can. Um, oops. Just copy all these files. So let's just copy these and paste it. Here, okay. Style. So let's copy that, paste it there. Um, also, if you're using um, like just any material, I guess here, here. This um, let's just use the material icons. Google right here too. Okay, I got the material icons. I got the my the CSS framework that I'm gonna use. You can just choose whatever you want here at the bottom. So here you can just add your custom CSS. Oops. CSS file. Uh, your custom CSS file here um, can be like the, you know, the, just like this one, but like this, the CSS static and stuff. So let's save that. Um, let me just, let me just add it just in case. Just in case I need it. Okay, so let's save that. So we have the the base and the index HTML files. Um, so now let's go to um, so here in basically in in source. So inside components, inside components, we're going to create a new file. Okay. This file will be app.js. And here in outside, no, no inside companies, outside here in source, we're going to go to another file called index.js. Okay. So the index.js file basically, we're going to import the app file that we just created from. Components, oops. Okay. Here, we just import the, the app, we close that. So here, inside app, um, I have a plugin called um, this one, AS7 React Redux, like React Native Snippets. It's, it's very useful. You can just like install it, just go here to the extension and search for it and install it. This is just, this is for Visual Studio Code. I don't know if it's for some blank test too, but it should be for some blank test. What I like about this annotation is that you can just type like RCF, and then here you can just like render like a template for your like for your functional components like class component and all that. 
um, I'm going to use React, like React functional export component like that. So make sure the like, export defaults is there too. So function app. So here, I'm just going to have a P, like hello, hello world, right? So here at the bottom, oh, we also need to import um, React, oops, React. Down from React. Down. Okay. Um, we don't need. We don't. I don't. Yeah, we don't think. We don't need to add like semicolons kind of thing. So, so React DOM. So here at the bottom, let's put React DOM dot render, and then here. Add. close that comma document that get element by id well the id remember the id that we put for the div it's app okay so we save that and i think we have all the recurrent files so we need to Let's open a new um, Windows, like a new terminal. Let me just go to the to the app here. Let's, you don't need to activate it. I do, but you don't need to activate the environment again. You're working with the JavaScript, but I mean, I just do it. Just do it if you want. So now here, let's go to front end. So here I'm in front end, here I'm in the main directory. So here I'm gonna run, see, oh, let me go back. Okay, here I'm in the main directory. So I'm gonna run the manage. So Python manage.py run service. Um, yeah, you need to run the migration right now. So here we're gonna run npm run the um here i have an error here da, 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 da. okay so we have an error let's check oops um let's check our preset here bubble the bubble rc presets um just put it at let's see preset um webpack let's go to our webpack file here oh i put user but it's use for some reason <laughs> it's okay so webpack config use not user okay so let's try again okay now it just oh and as you can see here we the the script generated a new file here like main JS. So if you go now to our here you have hello world. So now everything's running, everything is like building successfully and, and so yeah in the next video where we just continue working with uh with our with our project. Um if you have any question just leave it in the comment below just make sure that I mean if something is not running, check the check the the requirements like here in the package. Check the dependencies that you're running. This is all the version that I'm running. Make sure that the scripts like files are correctly, the correct path to. 
um, the config file here. Make sure it's not user. <laughs> so here in the in the bubble, make sure that this is like that, correct? And yeah, thanks so much for watching, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.